Milkfish fry can be found in almost all coastal waters of the Philippines. The fry are more abundant in places with narrow coastal areas, but scarce in places with extensive tidal flats or shallow inland bays, with water salinity ranging from 5 to 20 parts per thousand. The time of appearance of milkfish fry in commercial quantity differs geographically. In southern Philippines, fry are collected throughout the year with peak season generally occurring from March to May. Fry are gathered in central Philippines from March to January and are most abundant during the months of April to June. In northern Philippines, they are collected from March to August with peak months from May to July. The present methods of catching milkfish fry involve fry filtration by stationary gears or mobile devices. The design, construction, area, and time of operation of these gears are primarily determined by factors such as the bottom topography of the fry grounds, wind direction, local current patterns, and tidal fluctuations. There are 10 types of milkfish fry fishing gears currently used in the Philippines. One of these is the fry barrier or fence, also locally known as lambay, saplad, or tadtad. It is set more or less perpendicular to the shore, extending to about 10 to 50 meters from the shoreline. Ideal operating areas for this gear are shallow intertidal areas with narrow pass or strait and tidal flats with muddy or coralline substrate. The skimming net is another type. Here, milkfish fry is filtered from the water while being pushed forward by the operator. The skimming net is very effective in mangrove areas along fish pond dikes and canals and tidal flats with muddy or curling substrate. It is the favorite among women and children for it is light and easy to operate. Next is the tidal set net locally known as tangab or saplad. This is usually constructed across the mouth of tidal rivers or creeks. The gear consists of single catching chamber with wings extending to both sides of the bank. When installed along the seashore, it must face favorable wind, current, and tidal movements. It is operated by two to four men, generally at the start of the flood tide, until water slackens before the ebb tide begins. Daily total catch using this gear during the peak months from April to July is between 5 to 20,000 fry. The only disadvantage of this gear is its being site-specific. The floating tidal set net or tangab balsa, on the other hand, is set against longshore current and is particularly suited to points with relatively shallow Caroline platform. The gear is set about 10 to 15 meters apart and anchored in place. It is usually operated when the tide starts to rise until slack water before ebb tide begins. The gear requires one man to operate. The total daily catch is from 2,000 to 10,000 fry during the fry peak season. The push net, locally known as fry sweeper, is usually operated along the shore or river banks. Two people are involved in its operation. One person pushes the gear and scoops the fry from the bag net, while the other sorts out unwanted species from the catch. In other areas, the gear has bigger dimensions and the frame is provided with a platform for basin and pail. In this case, 
one person pushes the gear while the other on the shore pulls the gear with a rope. During stormy days, the push net is set against the surf as a stationary gear. Total daily catch is from 2,000 to 5,000 fry. Push net is now being motorized in some fry grounds of Antique. The gear is attached alongside a pump boat with 10 to 16 horsepower inboard engine and is usually operated by one man. Total catch per 8 hours of operation is 10,000 to 20,000 fry. Another gear is push net with bamboo raft or fry bulldozer which is normally operated in relatively deeper areas of the fry ground. Two persons are required to operate this gear. One scoops and sorts the fry while the other pushes the gear with a bamboo pole. Operation is usually undertaken at night to early morning and during calm weather. A pressure lantern is needed to facilitate catching and sorting of fry. Average total catch per operation is from 1,000 to 5,000 fry. Another gear is the tow net with bamboo floats or panagap. The gear is towed by two persons, one at the end of each wing. When one of the operators scoops the fry and goes ashore to sort them, the other continues dragging the gear by holding both ends of the wings. This gear is the only active filtering type used in southeastern Luzon. Tow net or sayot consists of a cylindrical bag net made of sailcloth and fine meshed nylon netting wings. It is very effective in areas with steep shore profile characterized by high waves and strong winds. Two persons operate the gear with one person towing the bamboo pole at each wing. Average daily catch during the peak season is from 1,000 to 5,000 fry. The double stick net, locally known as sagyap or sarap, is the traditional gear used in catching milkfish fry. Double stick net is operated by two persons over a certain area along the shore. It usually consists of a rectangular cinnamon cloth 1 to 1.5 meters wide and 4 to 6 meters long with the two sides provided with bamboo poles. This gear has undergone modifications due to the cost of materials, mode of operations, and prevailing local conditions. Instead of using sticks, ropes or other materials are attached to the catching net. Though this gear is cheap, simple, and easy to operate, it has some disadvantages. It cannot be used during rough weather and the area of operation is limited to wading depth. The fry same net or taktak is used to capture milkfish fry by enclosing a certain area, usually near river mouths, and towing both ends of the gear over this area to fixed points on the shore. Two persons operate the gear. One casts the gear with the use of a small boat, while the other stays on the shore, holding the other end of the tow line. The whole operation from the setting of the gear to scooping of the collected fry takes about 15 to 20 minutes. Catch per operation is from several hundreds to 2,000 fry. This gear has been modified by adding a bag net which is similar to the tow net with bamboo floats at the center. The wings are longer and made entirely of fine meshed nylon netting and is locally known as labay labay. Four persons or more are required to operate the gear. Catch is usually from 5,000 to 10,000 per operation although in some instances as much as 30,000 fry are caught.